Hey everybody, I'm wearing my vintage t-shirt today, which gave me an idea to drive a vintage racing car in the simulator. And I can also demonstrate to you a neat thing you can do with Smart Control Live to make controlling such an old vintage difficult car a little bit easier. So let's get into the sim. So what am I talking about? Well, what you can do with Smart Control Live is assign a button or an input to increase or decrease your brake pedal force. And one of these things with these old racing cars, they carry a lot of fuel. And that adds so much to the weight of the car that the more fuel you have, the harder you have to press to lock up. So as the fuel burns, as your tires wear out, it becomes easier and easier to lock up. And it can make sense to increase the brake force a little when you feel that happening, which effectively makes your brake pedal a little bit less sensitive and a bit more usable, easy to use, harder to lock up. So let's go into Smart Control Live and set it all up. So in Smart Control Live, which I have in front of me, we will just make a new profile for this, call it Vintage. And here you do not have to assign a shortcut to the profiles. We can just select a profile in Smart Control Live to make it active. So there's no need to uh, add a shortcut. Now I want to add something to this Vintage profile on my wheel. So I, have to, so I want to assign inputs for increasing and decreasing brake force on my wheel, which is technically not vintage, but we'll ignore that for now, which means I have to add my wheel, which is my SimuCube. I've added it. I have to add a function with a plus here. We want to uh, increase the brake force by, let's say, 10 kilograms. Next step for which I have a nice rotary here. Click to the right, save that. And I also want to have an action to decrease the brake force, also by 10 kilograms, for which I turn the encoder the other way. Save. Now, this is now an active profile, so now we can go into the sim and drive a lap with full fuel and then with low fuel and see what we can do to make that low fuel car feel a bit better. So in a 67-ish Formula One car with 200 liters, it's 150 kilograms of fuel, We will approach turn one at a pretty rapid speed with a very, very heavy car with fresh tires that have a lot of grip. So I expect to uh, have to push the brake pedal quite hard and hopefully don't lock up and crash. So 270 kilometers an hour. When do I brake? Now roughly. Yeah, 75, 80% of the brake force there. We did not lock up, it was all right. So when you do that, you get used to the heavy car and you get used to the brake force you have to apply, 80% in this car. But as the race goes on, if you do an endurance race, this is the most extreme example of a car that is mostly fuel and just a little bit of car. The car gets lighter, the tires wear, so the available grip you have to brake changes during the race. And this is the most extreme example in this car. So now we will empty the tank for a hot lap setup with the same settings and we will see if it's harder or easier to control the brake. I think it will be harder because it will be more sensitive. We have a less heavy car to slow down. It will be easier to lock, uh, to lock up. So let's get rid of all the fuel and uh, try again. So we got rid of almost 200 liters of fuel. The first thing you notice, the car is a lot more lively, so much more responsive. We cross the finish line at a higher speed, which means we approach turn one quicker. And let's see. It is so much easier. I think there is like a 20% difference in the brake pedal force. And I locked up there because the car is so much lighter where it used to lock up at 80% force on the brake pedal. It now locks up at about 60% force. So it feels a lot more touchy. And I left the trail of smoke there. It wasn't great. So I think this is a good time to increase the brake force a little bit, for which we have assigned our rotary, and that will take some of the sensitivity away. So let's see uh, if we do better the next lap while increasing uh, the brake force, which I will do now. 10 kilos added, so that's brain working about 20%, so maybe that works well. Let's see. So now we went from 50 to 60 kilos, means to press a bit harder, let's see how that goes in turn one. We still need talent, so still dubious if we make it. A 
This worked a lot better. I even braked a bit too early, but the tires never locked up because the force I was used to using, fairly high force. Now with the light car, it no longer locks the tires and I think I have more control on, on the brake pedal. It is one of those tools, very nice to adjust this on the fly. And this is one of the many examples. Of course, you can switch to different cars and you can adjust the brake force uh, to your liking with plus and minus. Or if the conditions change, if it starts to rain, you can adjust it as well. It's that sensitivity adjustment of the brake pedal that is quite a useful feature of Smart Control Life, which you can try right now.